I'm going to be making for you molasses popcorn balls. It's like an old recipe. I think it's going to be delicious and the kids are going to love it. Um, the, it's pretty easy, except you do need to use a candy thermometer, so you need to be careful about that. So what I have here is one cup of molasses that's going to go into my pan. And if you squirt your dishes first with some cooking spray, they won't, the stuff won't stick quite so much, which is a good thing. So that's one cup of that. One cup of light corn syrup is going in. And I have over to my right, I have four, uh, three quarts of popped corn, already popped. Have that ready before you start. Okay, there's the cornstarch, and then I have one teaspoon of white vinegar. That's going in. So this is going to go on the oven. I'm going to put the candy thermometer in my pot. Make sure the bottom does not touch the bottom of your pot at all. It has to not have connection there, so it needs to be raised up. I'm going to put that on. Make sure it's not touching and it's not. And I'm going to cook this on the stove until the temperature on my thermometer reaches 270 degrees. Then we need to take it off the stove immediately. So that's what I'll do right now. Okay, my sugar and molasses have come to 270. I added the salt and the butter, and now it's going over the popcorn. It does not wait for anyone. So when it happens, it happens fast. So I'm getting it all out of the pan. I'm going to start stirring it around. I want to get it all out. It's very, very hot. And then we're just going to mix this around. I'm going to get everything coated. Still trying to get it out of the pan. Hang on. Whew! Takes a little bit of work, but this is going to be worth it. And once it starts to cool, you don't have a lot of opportunity. Okay, I'm going to move this just out of the way a little bit. And now I'm just going to mix this. And I'm going to butter my hands. Oh, I don't even know. Start small, still too hot. We're going to keep mixing we get these kernels. We're trying not to break up the kernels. Oh, it does, it is mixing in. This is one of those recipes. It's like if you've made Rice Krispie treats, once it happens, and you gotta just keep, keep going with it. And it is getting sticky. Eventually, I am going to butter my hands and have to get in here, but I think the sugar is still too hot. So almost every kernel is not 100% coated, but every kernel has a little bit of something on it. That's a good thing. Okay. So rub your hands with the butter. I'm going to just take a little one as a tester. This is just a little mini one. There we go. So. You probably want, the recipe says, three inch balls. I don't know if you'd want like a huge one. I don't know, sometimes big isn't better. Maybe just a little one. So you're gonna roll these and these are gonna get hard. And this is gonna make a lot. So if you're having people over and you want some treats or kids need treats for school or something special's happening, this would be good. Now this is fun, right here. Yeah, I'm not making those big ones, I'm making little ones. So I'm just gonna keep rolling until they're all balled up. Keep adding butter to your hands so the sugar doesn't stick to your hand.
these are the finished popcorn balls and I made them smaller than three inches and you can see they're pretty uniform. You can just put them all in a bowl like this or if you're gonna give them out, you can put them in one of these cute little cellophane bags that you can buy anywhere. You can put one or two or mix them. When you're making your popcorn balls, you might wanna add some nuts in with the popcorn before you add the hot sugar syrup. Um, you could do some salted peanuts or caramel peanuts or whatever kind of nut you like to mix it up. And if you don't have one of these bags, you could just, you know, wrap it up in tin, I mean, uh, excuse me, wax paper and just twist the ends and cut the ends off all pretty and you could give them out that way as well. So those are the molasses popcorn balls. Give them a try.